This week we're going to get some practice with the document object model. And the project we're going to build this week is a little complicated, so let me go ahead and show you what it does. Um, in my test folder I have this fetch page.php, and if I go there, what I see is the eloquent JavaScript homepage. And at the top, I have a little table of contents, and I'm going to make this clickable so it jumps to whatever section there is. And there's a type of URL box here as well. But if I click on one of these links, so for example, we're on document object model this week, so I'll click there. And you'll notice I'm still going to uh, my fetch page.php. It's just changed the URL. So here's the table of contents for this page, and then the actual text, clicking on the script, somewhat works, a little broken. But uh, what I'm actually doing is I'm using JavaScript to rewrite parts of this page. And uh, that's the project we're going to work on. And to actually do this right is pretty complicated. So we're not going to make it work 100%, but we're going to get a lot of practice with the document object model along the way. So the first thing that you need to know when you're building something like this is that uh, there are some security restrictions on what JavaScript can and can't do. So there's a technology in JavaScript called AJAX, which is Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. And we're going to see a lot of that in 233W. But the bottom line here is that um, you can't load an arbitrary page from the browser using JavaScript and AJAX directly. Um, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to talk to the web server and then the web server is going to have a PHP script that actually fetches the page content, bundles it up as a JavaScript data, um, and then on the JavaScript side, on the browser side, we're going to unpack that data build a document object model for it, um, edit it, and then display the edited contents in the context of the page. So you'll see what I mean as we go along, but let's go ahead and start by creating a week six folder. I'm sorry, week seven. And then in my uh, Notepad++, I'm going to save this file as week 7 fetchpage.php. And I'll also go ahead and save a fetchpage.css. And let's go ahead and also save fetchpage.js. And then for my fetch page.php, I'm just going to stub this in right now. So doc type HTML, HTML, head, title. And then in the body, I'll just put a paragraph tag, hello world. In the head, I'll go ahead and add a link, rel equal style sheet, href equals fetchpage.css. And I'll also add a script source equals fetch page dot js. And let me go ahead and put an ID on here. So there's my contents. And in fetch page dot css, I'm going to declare a style. And I'll just put a one pixel black border around it to make sure it's working. So 
So there's my CSS. And for my JavaScript, I'll just console.log hello world. So I'll save all that. And then let me go to the browser and go to 133w week 7 load fetchpage.php so I'm not actually seeing my content. Let's go ahead and take a look at the console. Did I save? Yes. Week 7 fetchpage.php I forgot to close my script tag off. There we go. So my hello world paragraph with a black border around it in the console I have hello world so everything is correct.